Hi y'all, this is Tam. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a fabric and trim haul. These are some things I picked up at Hobby Lobby in their clearance department. So that's usually the first place I go when I go in anybody's store. I want to see what they have on sale and clearance. Basically, well, clearance and a sale is different. A sale sometimes means it can go back to regular price, but in the clearance department, usually once it's marked down, it stays down and it goes down even further as um, the longer it sits in the clearance department or maybe some items have been discontinued and they're no longer in circulation. So they're trying to get rid of them all together. So I usually go straight to the clearance department to see what they have back there. And then I'll go to the regular sections to see if there's something else that I um, might like. So I wanted to jump on here really fast and show you guys some things I picked up in uh, Hobby Lobby's clearance section in the fabric department. Now I'm always looking for different fabrics because that has become one of my favorite ways to cover journals that I make. I like the texture of fabric on journals. I like the way it looks. I also like covering journals with uh, paper as well, but um, fabric is becoming one of my favorite ways to cover journals. So this um, piece of fabric it's a cotton pink polka dot print and it was on sale for a dollar and 33 cent and I want to use this one some of these pieces are just random I didn't get for any specific purpose but some of them I got with creating a certain type of journal in mind this particular print I want to create a baby journal with a baby girl journal and so I thought it would be um, a cute print. It's not overly girly. And um, whatever I have left over, I could still use for something else. So that's what I was thinking about when I got this. Um, this is like a whole panel. This is like a curtain panel. Um, it's like gray with some, um, not really polka dot because they're not circular. It's almost like some little weird shaped um, pattern but this is a whole curtain rod 54 by 96 inches and this is a lot of material so I know I'll probably end up giving some of this away but it was on sale for three dollars and seventy cents and I just could not pass that up I'm knocking stuff all over the place just trying to get it a loose but this is what it looks like awesome 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 texture it's almost like that um uh, what do you use to paint on it's called canvas yeah it feels really really thick like that canvas material and I just had to get this the girl that was at the register she was like I saw that and I was wondering what am I gonna do with one panel I told her I said I'm going to use it to cover journals and she was like okay that's a good idea and so um it's a lot of it and so <laughs> I will probably end up giving some of it away. So if you're watching this video and if you want a piece of it, let me know and I'll send it to you. I'll cut it down to, I don't know, maybe the size of a, um, I guess an eight and a half by nine uh, journal. So if you want to do something smaller, you'll still have enough fabric to do so. But if you want to do a larger size journal, and usually eight by nine is something like this. Um, I think this is actually maybe six or seven and a half, but uh, nine inches. This is a pretty uh, big journal, so you can see what it looks like as it grows. So if you want enough material to cover what I consider to be a relatively large journal, let me know, and I'll cut a piece of this down for you, and um, I'll send it to you. Just, you know, just let me know. I don't mind doing that. So um, in addition to those two prints, I also got, um, this is a baby uh, theme fabric, and it is flannel, I believe. Yeah, flannel duck print, and this one was on sale for $2.69. And uh, let me try to cut into it. And this is also, I went into it with creating a baby journal in mind. I haven't created any baby journals. And a friend of mine at work was like, you know, people have babies all the time. That may be something you just may want to create and have in your stash. So, and it's getting into the winter time. And you know, that's 
the more likeliest of times for people to um, find out that they're having a baby. <laughs> if you guys know what I mean. My husband and I got pregnant in January, around January, February with our son. And I didn't even know I was pregnant until I went for my um, annual appointment. And she was like, yeah, you're having a baby. So I thought about getting just some baby journals ready for people as they enter into that phase of life, whether they're having their first baby or this is a new addition to an already established family. So this is also a baby print too. This one is baby uh, print cotton and it was on sale for a dollar and 20 cents. Now cotton is just a little bit thinner and I have to watch the um, texture or the pattern of the type of book that I'm covering with cotton because it's so thin and you can see through it. So um, that's also something I keep in mind with this particular fabric but look at it it's so beautiful it's like a light uh, blue color in the background and it has pink so this one is unisex you can use it for a boy or girl and the same with this flannel one right here too you can use it for boy or girl with the ducks on it and so um, it was so cheap like I don't think any of these that I got on this table were over three or four dollars this one is a dollar and fifty cents and it is a cotton calico yeah cotton calico print and again it was on sale for a dollar and fifty cents gotta make sure I'm still recording I love calico prints and this one is probably going to be one that's going to be hard for me to part with. Look at how beautiful that is. I love these types of prints. You have birds and it's almost like a collage uh, pattern. You got globes and flowers and flower pots, bicycles and I mean that is so beautiful. I love that. So I thought this would be a good pattern to make for a journal and again this was only what was it? It was a dollar and fifty cents. So I thought that was a good deal. I'll get to the ribbon in a second. I'm trying to get through all of the fabric. This is also another baby print, and it's a um, mm -mm. it's a unisex uh, print. Could be for a boy or a girl. So my goal is to create at least two baby journals. One for boy. Um, and one for a girl but I may make them unisex where it can be used for a boy or a girl actually this one may be just for a girl it was a dollar and it is also cotton because it has like a little look at there <laughs> she's so cute it's a hippopotamus in a pink dress so this is definitely for a girl but I do see some images on here that could be for a boy right there's an alligator with a blue um, ribbon tied around his neck and there's a zebra with a blue ribbon tied around his neck. But I would probably make this one for a girl. The pink images, um, I think, are dominant. They really do stand out. And you wouldn't be able to, like the zebra, even though he has a blue ribbon tied around his neck, he has on pink shoes. And the pink in the giraffe's ears. And the monkey has a pink bow on her hair. So yeah, this would probably be more for a girl than for a boy. But I love that pattern. It is very beautiful. And this is the last piece of fabric I got. And this is a home decor outdoor fabric. Um, it doesn't really have a name on it, but it looks like a floral uh, pattern. And this was on sale for $1.50. And I always like this canvas like material because it's really strong and it's thick enough to cover whatever type of journal you're trying to cover in terms of if the uh, journaling material that you're using, the book that you're covering has a lot of dark standing off the page images, you don't have to worry about it seeing through this type of material. So this is so beautiful. Look at that. It's like a floral and you have some flowers and greenery, leaves. I like that. So this is um, also one that I liked. So I only got a few. I tried to, you know, stop looking after I got a certain amount of them in my basket. This is some cheesecloth trim in the color. It's almost like a, um, 
what do you call it um plum like a plum color and oh it says lavender lavender smoke lavender smoke and it's 36 inches by two yards of it and it's 100 percent cotton and these were on sale for a dollar and 24 cents regular price five dollars and i got a second one and this one says baby blue and it was also on sale for $1.24. So I know people um, buy just white or off-white card uh, cheesecloth and they color it using coffee or tea. But I thought these would be good to have in my stash as well. Now the ribbon, really quickly. This one was on sale for $0.50 cents and it is called um, Rose. Yeah, 30 6 by 3 well basically two yards let's just say that two yards and it's called rose so I don't know if you guys can see that let me bring it up just a little bit so that um, let me tilt it a little bit so that's what that looks like I thought that was cute this one is called um, I don't even see what it's called but it's like a blue polka dot and I'm trying to tilt it so that glare from the plastic won't get in the way can you guys see that and this one was also on sale for 50 cents this is like a brown um, and white polka dot and this one was on sale for 50 cents and this is a yellow um, like a yellow checkered like print um, can you see that so in addition to using ribbon as trim and things like that in your journals you can also use it as closures this is like a polka dot a pastel polka dot I really like this one they had I believe two or three of these I wanted to get all three of them but I didn't and this one was 75 cents um, I really love that pattern. This one is called light blue and gold. So it has um, blue, white, and gold in this one. And this one is black and gold. Can you see that one? Thought this one was cute. It was on sale for 74 cents. And the last was like a bundle, like a green and white bundle, different textures and designs in all of these. And it was regular price $5 on sale for $124. So ribbon and twine, 24 feet. So you have all these different patterns. Can you see that? And I thought that was a really good deal. So that's all I have to show you guys today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, it's just fabric and trim that I went and got from Hobby Lobby and I wanted to share. So um, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so you can know when I upload new videos. I also have a second channel. It's a Bible journaling channel. It's linked below if you're interested in me journaling and my Bible and to talk about my faith and things like that please follow me over there as well it's linked below in the description box so thank you guys for stopping by i look forward to seeing you in my next video bye